<laughs> we are on the lake. Little lake. We got a huge variance in water temperature right now. So I'm got my eye on lakes that I think are gonna be a little bit warmer. And uh, unique thing about this lake is that it's chock full of Eurasian water milfoil in uh, the late summer. And uh, makes it hard to kayak with all that thick vegetation. So right now there's no milfoil. So um, it's a good way for me to get up shallow where all these fish are going to be. They're all going to be in a couple feet of water. That's where the warmest water is. It's a fertile lake. You can see the cattails. So that's a muck bottom bay. Uh, that kind of sediment is the stuff that warms up the fastest. It pulls in all the life from the insects to the bluegills to the bass. So I am going to target them with a swim bait, weedless swim bait, because I'm fishing right in the cattails, like seriously, I'll be bumping into cattails and reeds. So I'm just going to slow roll this thing, basically wake it because it's going to be so shallow. There's really no need for a weight on there, but helps with casting a little bit. So let's give her a whirl. There's a bucket. Come here, girl. Ooh. Nice and round. Look at that. See, I whipped it way up there on those cattails and she come waking out for it. That's my favorite thing ever. And they just come waking. Whew. All right. They're where I thought they'd be, so it's just a matter of replicating that. Fish in the same spots and the same speed. This might be a pike, but we'll see. Oh yeah, a little gator. <laughs> There's gonna be a bunch of these up shallow. As long as he don't steal my hook. Big old gator. Come here. Yep, there we go. Just like that. Well, <laughs> I guess he's off the hook. Check my braid. Man, you got, I mean, it's crazy. You cast up in there. Hopefully this GoPro's picking it up, but I'm casting way up in them bulrushes. Bluegill start scattering, then you'll just see pike on the prowl, hot on all these baits. And there's kind of a, you know, it's something we have to deal with up here is pike. There's just no way around it. And, uh, you know, the bass are going to be in the cattails. And as soon as I get out of the cattails, I'm in no man's land, meaning there could be a pike anywhere. And they're fast and they're a lot more acclimated to this cooler water. It's spring, so they uh, have a tendency to get a jump on your bait before the bass do. But when they're big like that, they're kind of fun. So there's just a few lily pads popping up right here. This will eventually be all lily pads. But when there's a few, those are just tight little spots that you can fish that hold fish first. You know, those are just, like I said, it's, it's oh man, there's a big fish busting bait up there. Like I said, it's, um, oh my goodness. <laughs> angry, angry. There's panfish and, and pike and all kinds of predators up there. Time for a new swim bait. Like I said, it'd be overwhelming if this was all lily pads, but now that there's just one section, that's only, you know, that's where the bait can go, so. It's a good place to target real quick, but boy, I like seeing all them fish tied up there chasing bait. No problem eating this swim bait. This is a Gary Yamamoto Heart Tail swim bait. 
Then I just got a weighted swim bait hook and uh, honestly, I only have one weighted swim bait hook with me. So when I run out, I'll be fishing it weightless, which it's shallow enough water, you just gotta give it a half a second to sink and you're basically accomplishing the same thing, so. I'll rig another one of these up with the screw lock, fishing it, <clears throat> excuse me, fishing it on straight braid. Do not care. I need to do the fish. If you can get away with straight braid, why wouldn't you? Got it on there just like that. Big wide wobble on this bait. All right, let's see if there's, when I cast it, there was a major disturbance. Big fish blew up on my swim bait. I got him, I got him. It's a pipe though. another gator. Oh, another gator. And he's pulling me, so I'm gonna pull back. We're going backwards in the kayak. Oh, it is a bucket. Here we go. Big old large mouth. I mean, big large mouth. Hooked as good as you can get. Oh, Charlie. That's what you wanna see right there. Let's just wait a moment here. There she is. Come on, give myself some more slack. Look at that, right in the cheek. Big old donkey. I thought that was a pike the way it blew up on it. Look at her. All right. Let's get it back. I'm fishing this on uh, 6.8 to 1 gear ratio, which is essentially a 7 to 1 gear ratio, right? And um, I just want this thing to go blah, 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 just wagging. So I don't want to go real fast, you know. I got 40 pound braid because I got a thicker gauge, you know, that weighted swim bait hook. A little bit thicker gauge. It's a trocar, so it's got a wicked point on it, but I still need to stick that thing in there. Like that last one I caught, that thing was buried in the roof of the mouth. So it's a medium heavy rod, fast. So I'm getting to that power quickly, you know. That's where I can drive the hook home. I don't want anything saggy, even though I am fishing braid. When you're in the kayak, you can kind of get away with more because when you set the hook, a lot of times you'll get pulled a little bit. Like I said, straight braid, I'm not scared. Not the fastest reel in the world. 40 pound braid, medium heavy rod. Tight, tight to the reeds. This is a big one. Another good one anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, you gotta get this swim bait in the reeds. In the reeds. Swim bait down the hatch. Let's release her. Mega, mega, mega. Lots of fun, big fight like that. First thing you gotta do, get them out of those reeds, start back pedaling with your kayak. Stay tight on them. You know, big hooks tend to leave big holes and it's easier for fish to get off, so you just gotta stay tight, like I said. There we go. Another big one. Another big bucket. Oh, big old head. <laughs> She can jump. Come here. Let's do this. All right. There we go. Another toad. That one was kind of off a little tree. Big, wide, wobbly swim bait, man, I'm telling you. All right. Get you another one. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Another one. Same spot, another big one, another giant. 
Come here. Ooh. Same tree, basically. I'm gonna back up. There might even be another one there. Oh, these are nice fish, man. These are nice fish. Look at that big hook. Big hook just hammers her. Not going anywhere. I mean, in there. There we go. Big bass, love a big wobbly swim bait. That was two fish in the same spot. I just thought I'd cast back there to see if there's anybody, anything else in there. Like I said, stay tight on them. Back up, oh, it's another big one. I mean big, I mean big. Oh, she's hooked kind of weird. Don't jump. There we go. Fats. Another fat. Oh, she's not hooked all that bad, I guess. I mean, it's tough. There we go. Whew. Another good one right there. Get her back. Feels like it's got teeth. Might be a pike. Oh, no, big old bass. Another big old bass. Chee cooked. I mean, you're not, you're not losing fish when they're hooked like that. <laughs> That's down deep. Like I said, you got to get tight to them cattails if you're busting bait. That's a good sign too. Big heads, big wide bodies. Swim bait, man. <laughs>